www.appliancefactoryfinelines.com. Hi everyone, Chef Mark here with Appliance Factory Fine Lines and I'm back in the laboratory talking about some of my favorite ingredients and today we're going to be talking about one of the most important fundamental ingredients of cooking and that is salt. So I get this question all the time, what kind of salt do you like to use and what kind of salt should I use? So those are both great questions. I like to use kosher salt. I have some kosher salt here and you can see kosher salt, um, it's got a big thick grain. What I like about kosher salt is when I'm cooking with it, I can grab, this to me is a pinch of salt because I make big ingredients. I can grab a big amount, throw it in the pot, really distributes evenly. Some other advantages of kosher salt is that when you're adding it to things that are clear, like a clear soup or stock, it doesn't cloud. It has a, um, it's been processed to make it um, Oh, just a little bit more pure as far as clarity is concerned. Um, also, the thing that I really like about uh, kosher salt, probably more than anything, is that it's consistent. So I know when I grab this much salt and I throw it into my pot of soup, exactly how much sodium I'm getting. A lot of people like to use pink Himalaya salt, um, and that's an excellent choice. One thing I don't like about Himalaya salt, and the reason I don't use it my, for myself, a couple reasons. One, it's very expensive. It's about 10 times the price. Uh, certainly that expense... Um, you are getting more quality for that price, but you know, for just everyday salt, I kind of like a less expensive kosher salt. Um, the other thing about kosher uh, red pink salt that I, um, that I don't like is that it's inconsistent in its levels of sodium. So even if you buy the same brand every time, because it's a natural product, the sodium is going to be different. So if you add, uh, it's easy to under or over season a, a pot, so if you're adding the same amount of salt, you have to really treat um, pink salt more like an ingredient that needs to be managed as opposed to a standard that you can just throw in a pot and know exactly what you're getting. Um, some of the advantages to pink salt, of course, you know, that pink color does come from uh, some added minerals. There's iron and calcium and magnesium. They're at very low levels, but they are there and those all have uh, health benefits not found in kosher salt. Um, and also uh, Himalaya salt, just kind of an interesting fact, it's actually mined in a big mine in Pakistan. So Himalaya is kind of a, uh, a marketing term, um, but uh, it's something that is very expensive because it has to be hand mined. Um, it does help the local economy, um, and it is uh, you know it's got a, a nice flavor. But this flavor, just chemically, is actually more um, uh, more standard to sea salt than it is any other salt. So um, if you love the color, I like to use it as a garnish on top of food. Sometimes I sprinkle it on top of let's say a caramel um, tart or uh, salted chocolate tart because I like that visual appearance. So that's what I use that for mostly. Um, and lastly, there's good old fashioned ionized table salt. So that has ionide, uh, iodine um, added to it and there's some health benefits. I think it's your liver, keeps things functioning properly. You do need iodine in your diet. Um, years ago, people were uh, getting sick because of iodine deficiencies and they started adding it to salt uh, as an easy way to get it into the American diet. Um, it does cloud, um, however, because it is such a fine um, grain, it's great on things like popcorn. Uh, you know, of course, it's great for a sprinkler. Uh, it's really easy to get some on food. So I like to use that. I keep it around, but I use it um, as a table salt, you know, to sprinkle on top of my food if I need an extra dash of uh, salt, a little bit more flavor to my food. So those are the three main kinds of salt that I've talked about today. Those, of course, were the Himalaya pink salt, expensive, but very nice product. Um, uh, kosher salt, which I like because of consistency. Table salt, kind of finish things off. There's all kinds of salts. There's a whole world of items out there. Maldon salt is flaky. It's got this beautiful crunch to it. Um, there's a million different things out there. But my advice, as always, is find one that you love. Learn how to use it and make that your go-to ingredient so that you build consistency. So this is Chef Market's Appliance Factory Fine Lines. Those are my tips on salt. Hopefully you have one that you have in your pantry that you love. Why don't you throw into the, uh, into the box below your favorite salt and why you love it so much. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and make sure you tune in next time.